Welcome to Bosch's technical support on demand video series, the DVAR IP configuration wizard. All Bosch DVAR IP all in one appliances come pre installed with Bosch video management system, mobile video server service, video recording manager, and VSG. After initial boot up procedures, all devices will boot into a kiosk mode. From here, BVMS can be easily configured with the configuration wizard. Before starting the wizard, let's cover some restrictions and usage. First, no licensing is possible over the wizard. The wizard is meant to add new configurations, so it offers no possibility to edit or delete existing configurations. There is no enterprise functionality. Only systems with one VRM can be configured. There's no configuration for systems without a VRM, and there's no configuration for systems with multiple VRMs. Decoders can be added using the configuration wizard, but they have to be configured to an analog monitor group and configuration client. Since the wizard is meant for small systems, no NetApp DSA E-Series storage devices can be added using the wizard. You have to use configuration client. The wizard is only intended for systems that are already licensed. The perfect example is the all-in-one appliances. The wizard only scans for encoders, decoders, and DVRs. The same recording profile will be used for all newly added VRM cameras. If you have a group of cameras that you want a different recording profile on, you can always run the wizard twice. Storage must be ready for recording with at least one formatted LUN available. The wizard will create and edit users for existing local user groups. All encoders are automatically added to the locally configured VRM. All encoders are placed under the root of BVMS's logical tree. The wizard can run multiple times and changes are additive. And lastly, after finishing the wizard, you get a running and recording system. It should also be noted that if you are deploying your all-in-one appliance in a non-DHCP environment, you will need to configure IP addresses on all of your Bosch cameras prior to running the wizard. These steps are covered in a separate module. To open the configuration wizard, select the icon in the kiosk screen. Initially, the wizard will scan for a BVMS server connection on its local machine. Once a connection to the BVMS service has been established and the license has been validated, you will be told that you can proceed to the next step in a 10-step process. After selecting the next button, you'll be taken to step two in the process, which is a network settings page. Here, you can change the computer name, the network connection, or your network settings. If you change your computer name, you will need to reboot your device for the changes to take effect. Selecting next takes us to step three, time and date settings. Here, you can change the time and date settings of your appliance. Selecting the next button takes us to the latest save configuration menu option. Here, we'll see any previous configurations that have been saved and all the devices that are associated with that configuration. From here, we can import existing configurations. It must be noted that any imported configurations are subject to the restrictions stated earlier in this presentation. Selecting the next button takes us to step five, the device selection menu. Automatically, the wizard scans for all Bosch devices on the network. As stated earlier, if you are not deploying on a DHCP network, your Bosch encoders and cameras will need to be first configured with a valid IP address. Unconfigured devices will appear with a default IP address of 192.168.0.1. You will not be able to add them to the BVMS configuration. And currently, the configuration wizard does not allow changing IP addresses on defaulted devices. Check the devices that you want to add to your system in the left-hand column, then select the Next tab. This takes us to Step 6, the password for all added devices. If you change your password, ensure that you write it down and the caps locks is not enabled on your keyboard. Selecting the next button takes us to step 7, selecting a recording profile. From here you can use a drop down and use any of the default BVMS recording profiles. Once again, if I have two groups of cameras that I want two different recording profiles on, I can always run the wizard twice. I would add the first group on step 4 of the process. In step 7, 
I pick the recording profile I want and finish the wizard. Reopen the wizard, pick the second group in step four, complete step seven with my second recording profile, and finish the wizard and save my configuration. You also have the option of using Configuration Client for more complex configurations. After choosing the recording profile, select the next tab. This will take you to step 8, adding storage. In this step, you should see the pre-configured iSCSI storage space that belongs to your DVAR IP3000 or 7000 appliance. Highlight it and select the next tab. This takes us to step 9, user accounts and passwords. From here, we can add users to the administrator group or the operators group. To add a new user, highlight the group in which you want to add it to. Select Add User. You should now see the Add User menu. Here you can enter in the login name, full name, and description. Select OK. Once the user has been added, you can now add the password and select Apply. Now we select the Next button. This takes us to our final step in the wizard activating our configuration. In the window on the left, we see a summary of everything that we've added and the configuration that we've selected. By selecting the Save and Activate button, we will push this configuration and make it active. This means that all the cameras that you've selected will be assigned their recording profile, assigned a VRM, and they will start recording to their iSCSI target. From this menu page, you also have the option to save a copy of your newly created configuration. Select the Save Backup Copy tab. Windows Explorer should open and it will allow you to place a file we call the BVMS Elements file into a specified location. This is a true backup of the configuration that you just created. Remember, for more complex configurations such as maps, alarms, and multiple VRM systems, use BVMS's configuration client. This application can be accessed via the kiosk screen with the icon on the far right hand side of the page. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you. Bosch. Invented for life.